love it. Love the peace and quiet. And I'm time rich now for the first time after giving up work, which is fabulous. Not much money, but I've got time to actually make rather than give my creativity away in schools. And schools are great places to work, loved it. But it's my time now. Ramon is a beautiful old farmhouse and when I bought it I remember coming up the drive and just having a feeling that people have been happy here. It just felt really nice. I didn't actually go into the house, I just knew it was a nice place to be and it's smashing. Like that? I lived for a long time in, uh, in London. Um, working in offices and working night shifts and stuff so this is all new to me it's a it's a learning curve um, but you learn things as you go along you pick up stuff um, people show you how to do things and none of it's rocket science but it, it requires you to know what to do Ramon is full of stuff that you just wouldn't see elsewhere there are deer in the field there are, Big green lizards, lovely little green frogs, there's rabbits, birds, cats, dogs, sheep, chickens, lots of chickens. Um, it's a beautiful place, but sometimes I think when you work on it, you lose sight of that because all you're looking at is the, is the next job. And if you come out and you look at a building, and rather than appreciating its beauty, you're sort of looking at uh, the things that need to be done to it. It's a privilege here for years in England trying to grow tomatoes, courgettes was so disappointing because it would just rained all the time but here you do actually get a beautiful hot summer and it's fabulous every day now we're beating tomatoes we've got loads of potatoes from the garden there's enough carrots we've got loads and loads of food so it's fantastic. It's the sort of place where we always have people staying there's never a dull moment here. So my name's Hearn, uh, it's about H-E-R-N-E, and the background for that is it's from Hearn the Hunter, which is a Celtic name. And I'm here because I'm friends with Anna Phipps, so I've come to do some work for them. So I've been just doing general work, like digging holes and resealing bathrooms and making gates and things, so it's been good fun. I'm interested in engineering, uh, so my dream is like just to become a, a really good engineer one day. And my interests, I don't know, I do martial arts and I play the clarinet. I play my clarinet to grade five level and I'm mainly interested in jazz at the moment. My other hobbies are, are making, making things because I'm an engineer, so I like to make things such as 3D printers, which is what I'm working on at the moment. Music, I've been playing music for, for a long time, not, not, I'm, you know, I write songs, I'm not a terribly good guitarist, but uh, uh, I do like to write songs, uh, and it's nice to you can sort of gather people around you, you can interpret those songs. And we've done, we've done, I suppose with various people, I've done a, you know, three or four albums, they tend to be sort of fairly well spaced out, uh, one every ten years or so, uh, mainly because of logistics, time, money. In the meantime, you've got to work. I trained us in fine art at college, which was fab, at Winchester School of Art. And for years I taught fine art projects and did different things. But now I feel it's time for me to develop my own work. And I know lots of people that are artists as such, but they don't progress as such. And I really want to try and keep pushing my own boundaries, trying different things so it's sort of fresh and new and learning more. I don't think you should ever stop learning as such about yourself and your work and ideas and discovering new things. Hello, this is, this is a painting that Anna Pitts have. It's from a man named Mad Roy, who is a bit mad, and he gave Anna Pitts this painting of a man looking, or a woman, we haven't quite decided, because his, or her, there's a very feminine leg here, 
but um, this is not definitively a penis either. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's great, it's really good for a laugh, everyone that sees it, they just laughs at it because of the <laughs> awkward way that he's sitting and the almost painful expression on his face. Shall I bring it closer? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a really good, funny picture, which is why we've kept it. So we were going to take it to a, a Vigronia, which is a, a car boot sale, but uh, we found it too funny, so we've kept it to show future workaways. Sometimes I don't like to know exactly what I'm going to do. I find that boring. Lots of people work from patterns. I could never do that. I don't want to know what the final piece is exactly going to be. It's, quite nice to explore things and let things be organic as they proceed. But so I can start off on one path and it might lead me to somewhere else. that different plants release different colours in different ways and it's just a whole new world to learn about again and I think in ancient times people really understood about this natural dyeing. There's so much to learn with just simple chemicals you can find around, I mean chemicals, I mean chalk or lime or rusty nails and copper and different things but it releases different colours. This piece now I'm working on with leaves and turmeric and onion skins but I just think it's so beautiful. The sort of latest batch that there's a couple of songs which I suppose are about consumerism I suppose um, as a lifestyle. The songs about which have vague ecological sort of leanings but it's not really my you know I'm not a campaigner I don't write political songs they're just they sort of they're fairly abstract I suppose. I think the most important thing is to have enough money to live on and be happy really, that's the most important things. And even that is hard, just the simplest things in life are hard. But it's all an attitude, I've got two lovely daughters and I want them to be happy and I look forward to seeing them again and I think it is the transitionary period for me when they fly the nest which 
I think is good. I think it's time for them to go and they're quite happy. And it's now my time again, but I do just want to be. And I am quite, again, quite, I think living in the country, you do need to be self-sufficient in yourself and everything really. And I, I like the peace and quiet to think. It's one o'clock and time for lunch. Dum de dum de dum de dum. When the sun beats down and I lie on my bench, I can always hear them talk. There's always been Ethel. Jacob, wake up, you've got to tidy your room now. And then Mr Lewis. Isn't it time that he was out on his own? Over the garden wall, two little lovebirds. Cuckoo to you. Keep their mowing blades sharp. I know what I like. And I like what I know. Getting better in your wardrobe. Stepping one beyond your show. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, la. Sunday night, Mr. Farmer called, said, Listen, son, you're wasting time. There's a future for you in the fire escape trade. Come up to town. But I remembered a voice from the past. Gambling only pays when you're winning. Had to thank old Miss Moore for schooling your failure. Keep them mowing blades sharp. I know what I like, and I like what I know. Getting better in your wardrobe. Stepping one beyond the show. La 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 la. La 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 la. When the sun beats down and I lie on my bench, I can always hear them talk. Me, I'm just a lawnmower. You can tell me by the way I walk. I, I say to lots of kids at school, if you go to any university, study any subject, wherever you go, there'll always be an art gallery within that city. And man has always decorated things they've lived with or made art. And it is just a part and inner need, I feel, to express ourselves in a different way or decorate or ornament. And it's a reflection of us as human beings and that time that where we live in. And I just feel I do have that need. I couldn't bear not to be making something or fiddling with colours or thread or fabrics. It's just exciting, it's just lovely. acoustic songs out of the way, I'll probably do some ambient noise sort of events, possibly with lyrics, possibly not. I just wanted to do something different, I realised we only live once and just go for it, otherwise time passes by too quickly. You need to stand back from it and appreciate what you've got. Which, when you're sitting out back at the summer's evening with a glass of wine and you're watching the sunset and it's beautifully warm and it's 10 o'clock at night, uh, you think, well, this is it. As Anne says, this is the life. The hats, that's a recent thing. Now, in France, you need hats you know, because it gets so hot in the summer, it gets to, you know, 35 degrees plus. Uh, so you need hats to keep the sun off your head when you're working because it, it can get quite sort of, uh, it can't, especially if you're up on the roof, it can get dangerous, you don't want to get sunburned and sunstroke. Uh, in the winter it gets down to minus 17, so you know you want some hot hats. I've got my possum hat and I've got my Afghanistani hat, but this hat I got in Chelmsford when I went back for a wedding. It's a, it's a cheap summer hat. But yeah, collections of hats, I think that's probably a good thing. Anyway, thank you. Country girl, eyes of blue, green, sparkling to grey. She's a beautiful one, brightened up, darkest of my days. She kissed me long and hard, just like they do in those French films. She took me by surprise, she took me by surprise. So 
came up It's a romance thing that I can't pin down Why should I try? But just settle down 